Hey, it's Derek Korn, Senior Editor of Modern Machine Shop Magazine and its website, mmsonline.com. I got a chance to visit Phoenix Proto Technologies, located in Centerville, Michigan, to develop a story about the shop's approach to machining aluminum molds. While I was there, the company's Director of Sales, Robert Lamon, highlighted some of the differences between the aluminum molds the shop machines for prototype applications versus the aluminum molds the shop creates for production work. And here's what he had to say. Uh, this mold right here would be a typical example of a prototype tool that would be uh, something the customer may want 250 to 500 pieces and instead of the actions there was uh, I believe there's 12 different actions on this particular part is for the ignition switch and instead of building the tool for mechanical slides or hydraulics this is done with uh, what's considered I guess the industry standard be considered like hand loads or non-mechanical actions and what happens is uh, when, when the mold opens the part comes out all of these components then come out with the part and they're actually taken off by hand or with fixtures and then loaded back into the tool. The difference being is in a production tool environment then these would all be mechanical slides with hydraulics like you said with more expensive tooling. But this just keeps the cost down and, and uh, again this would be kind of a standard typical prototype for us. And then uh, the main reason that we purchased the 5 axis lathe, the Akuma lathe that we just have done is, is we build a lot of tools, a lot of prototypes uh, with hand loads and in this case we'll be able to manufacture these components with all the draft surfaces and contours we'll be able to manufacture on the 5-axis lathe all in one setup. This is an aluminum mold that uh, is considered a production aluminum mold because the quantities are actually going to be several hundred thousand parts out of an unfilled nylon. Uh, we're doing instead of hand loads we're now using mechanical slides, mechanical actions so everything in this area is all aluminum, excluding the, the gibs or steel, and underneath the aluminum cam slide and the faceplate and cam is we have, an, I think it's an arm alloy uh, material that we use for a, a bottom plate uh, for the actions. But it's typical for us to use aluminum on aluminum, and if we do do that for these kind of actions, we'll hard coat it. Uh, in this case, the bottom is only going to be a few hundred thousand, so we end up choosing to go to a mild steel on the gibs and aluminum on the cam action. The outside area right here is being formed with this cam slide, this action, and then the inside of the part with the two IDs is being formed uh, by this cam slide right here then.